Hello, Mr. Mr. Right, are you all right? Yeah? So, let's say we have these uh, numbers of unique integers. Yeah? One, two, three. Yeah? And we want to find out the subset. The subset is uh, like, like this. Empty list is a subset. One, two, three. One, two. Two, three. Eight. One, two, three. Eight. Eight. Uh, one is missing. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One is missing. Can you find find out what is missing? One, three. One, three, exactly. So there are eight, yeah? Mm. There are three numbers. So the total number of subset is two to the power of three, eight, yeah? Why is it two to the power of three? We have n numbers. For each number, we have two choices, yeah? We pick it or we don't pick it. So for the first number, we have two choices. For the second number, we have another two choices. Third number, another choice. So it's 2 times 2 times 2 Which is 8? Yeah, that 2 and the uh, n of it, yeah? And these, these two, 2 to the power of n, okay? 2 to the power of n Another set of problems, which is kind of permutation <laughs> uh, Permutation, what is permutation? Like 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, okay? These are full permutation. They are n numbers. So the num total number of permutation is how many? Can you tell me? Anybody? Total number of permutation. Anybody? Uh, yes, yeah, six, which is if there are n numbers. What's the total number of permutation? Uh, what? N what? N. The first number, we how many choice we have? Three. Yeah, yeah. Three num three choice. The second number, how many choice we have? Three. No, we already used one number, so how many numbers we, we can pick for? Two. Two, yeah. And the third yeah, number, we only have So, n factorial, okay? Another, it, another set of problem is called computation. Com combination. Combination. Three apples, how many ways to pick two apples? Three apples, how many ways to pick two apples? Uh, three. Yeah, yeah. It's the same as three apples picking one apple, right? If you look at this way, three apples picking one apple is very easy. Yeah? There are three apples. How many ways to pick one apple? Three, yeah? Every time you pick one apple, it's the same as you pick two apples because they are they correspond to each other, okay? So C and K equals C and N minus K, yeah? This is the same because every time you pick K numbers, out of n, it's the same as picking n minus k out of k, n, right? Because look, n, n minus k plus k equals n. This is same. Okay, so this is the formula. C n k equals n factorial divided by k factorial divided by n minus k factorial. We talked about this long time ago, eh? Permutation is p n k equals, equals what? Equals c n k times, times k factorial, right? Because look, when we pick k numbers, and then we can do a full permutation on these k numbers, okay, so these would be, what? Well, so, so these would be, c n k is this one, so times k factorial will be n, n factorial divided by n minus k factorial, right? Yeah, you can think of this way. What, what's full permutation? You pick a k apples out of n apples, and after you get the k apples, we can do a full permutation of k apples. So that gives p and k, okay? Okay, so for going back to this question, so going back to this question, we can do this step by step, yeah? Or actually we call it a backtracking or whatever, I mean. So we can come up with a, a recursive a recursion. So for each number, let, let's say, we define, let's say, subset subset and we have this number which is the list of integer and then we want to return a list of this yeah a list of this okay a list of this so n equals the length of numbers so this is the numbers of numbers the la the, the numbers of numbers right the numbers of numbers, the length of the numbers and then we can say answer equals an empty list and we have this step first search, okay, I define it as DFS, but not necessarily it's called step first search. Define DFS. What current is the length of, uh, is the current choice, current set of the subset. And then we are picking the i's number. So when we finish 
picking the when we reach the last number, then we can obviously we can answer the append current, right? And then we return because we are running out of numbers, and then we can return. <laughs> okay, so now for the ice number, how many choice do we have? You know, we are picking this. We are now look at this one. This is original numbers one, two, three. Okay, then one i is zero. I is zero here. Yeah, for the first number. So how many choice do we have when considering the subset? How many? We how many choice do we have when put considering the number one in a subset? Okay, am I, am I clear? How many choice do we have when considering the numbers in the subset? What numbers one? We were talking about these numbers only. We are now looking at these numbers i. Nums at index i. Okay, so now I'm going to do something here. I'm going to do something here with this nums i regarding into the current subset. So I want to put this number. How many choice do we have with this number with, with the current now? With the current set. It's one, two, three, yeah? One, two, three. There are eight. How do you get the number eight here? Ryan, how do we get the number eight here? I mean, Two times two times two. Exactly. What's two? Two is how many choices you have. Okay. How many choices do we have for this number? We want to put it in how many choices? Two times i. Two. I to the power of two. Two. There are n numbers. Yeah, you are right. Two to the power of n. For each number, we have two choices. Here, for each number, how many choices? Two to the power of i. How many choices do we have um, for? Yeah, exactly. Two. Two choice. Okay, two choice. To pick it. Okay, so let's talk about not pick it first. We not pick it. So if we don't pick it, what happened to the current? What happened to the current if we don't pick it? Uh, it's still the same, right? But the next one, we're, not, we're going to pick i plus one, right? Yeah? Okay, so if we pick it, what happened? If we pick it, what happened? What should I do with the current? If I pick it, I should add it to the current, right? So current plus nums i. Okay? And then and the, we, we do this step for search. At the beginning, we start with the empty list. <laughs> and then we first number, what's the second parameter here? The first one. The first one, which is? Which is uh, zero. Yeah. And then we can just return answer. Okay? Yeah? Okay, so this is the core of our learning today. So for each number, we can pick or we can skip. When we pick it, we do nothing with the current, and we're picking next number, i plus 1 index. When we pick it, we need to append this current uh, num lumps i to the current set, and then move to the next number, right? And when we reach the end, this is the termination of the recursion. When we reach the end, we just put the current into the answer, into the answer, okay? A little bit, okay? A little bit, yeah? The time complexity for this one, obviously, 2 to the power of m because they are the number of the, to, the total number of the subset is 2 to the power of m, okay? Okay, so this is one way of doing it. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about using another one, which is called beam masking. And the day after tomorrow, we're going to talk about another algorithm to solve this. It is called cascading, okay? Cascading. So there are three. And then D daddy. Then, then that will be, okay? That's it for today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Bye.